Good morning children. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. So I welcome you all to the science class. So let us see the day and date at first. So children, today is Saturday and it is 13th of November 2021. So you know tomorrow is 14th of November, yes? So I wish you all a very happy children's day. Enjoy your day. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday, so we can't meet. So happy children's day in advance. So children, in today's class, we all are going to start a new chapter. That is chapter 10. The name of the chapter is measurement or measurement. So children, you know that we need different types of measurement in our daily life. Yes, measurement chapter you have done in math also and you have learned about all types of measurements and its unit. Yes, so hope this will be a little bit easier for you all because you have all you all have gone through this chapter in your math class. So why do we need to measure the things? This we will learn in this chapter and we will learn about different types of measurement, different types of units involved in different types of measurement and why they are needed in our day-to-day -day life. So children, when we go to grocery shop, the grocer asks us about the quantity of a particular item we need to purchase. Yes, they ask us that how many kg carrot you need if you are asking for carrot they will ask how many kg carrot or how many grams of carrot you need similarly in a cloth shop the shopkeepers ask you about the length of cloth we need to purchase they ask you that how many meters of cloth do you want ma'am or sir yes so in our daily life we need to measure various things we need to know how much quality of things is to be used bought or sold in the market so the process of finding of the exact quantity or size of something is called measurement this is an important part of our daily life so whatever exact quantity we are finding out for that we need measurement for example if you want to buy a new shirt yes if you want to stitch a shirt or your school dress you need to first take your measurement yes they will measure your body yes in order to make a shirt and to buy a cloth also they will ask you that how many meters of cloth you need if you go to grocery shop they will ask you in kg yes if you want to go or go for buying a milk but sorry buying milk you they will ask you to uh, how many liters of milk you want yes so all these measurements are very very useful in our daily life so first let us read out what is measurements the process of finding out the exact quantity or size of something is called measurement therefore it is an important part of our daily life activity so measurement it is the process of finding out exact quantity or size of something so it is very important in our daily life so children at first we will see the measurement of length okay you can see in the picture that a carpenter the carpenter is measuring a wood yes so let us see what is measurement of length in earlier times people used their body parts for measurement of length some of these are hand span cubit foot span etc as body part of every person is different in size the measurement done by such methods is different for different person for example rohan's cricket bat is seven hand span by his hand but by his father's hand it is just five hand span so children in earlier times where people they don't have standard units of measurement or like measuring instrument they used to measure using their hand span cubit foot span okay but that was not accurate measurement because it will differ from size to size for example rohan's cricket bat is five hand span by his hand yes but by his father hand it is just five by rohan's hand it is seven hand span but by his father hand it is just five hand span 
So you can see that the fingers, hand span, cubit, foot span, etc., are known as non standard units of measurement. So these are known as non standard units of measurement. As they change from person to person, thus we need standard unit for measurement which do not change if measured by person. So we need the standard unit of measurement which will not change from person to person. Now tools for measuring plain children, we use, you know, we use rulers. Yes, everyone has used ruler in your math class. Yes, meter rods are used and measuring tapes. Measuring tapes, you can see in the picture meter rods ruler this all are used for measuring different objects okay so in order to correct uh, note the correct length we must take care to read the scale from zero mark you know that you have to take the scale from zero mark yes zero one two three like if your pencil is three centimeter you will start marking it from zero then one two Three. So in that way you will get the correct measurement. Now children next topic is <coughs> measurement of weight. Yes, you know what is your weight? I know most of you may know what is your weight. Yes, your weight may vary from 25 kg, 20 kg starting to 30 kg. Yes, so measurement of weight. <coughs> if you visit a local Kirana store, the storekeeper uses electronic balance or weighing balance to give the exact quantity of the thing you desire. The vegetable seller and the sweets keeper measures vegetable and sweet you want in a similar way. Yes children, if you visit Kirana store or a grocery store, you will find electronic device. If you go to vegetable seller or a sweet keeper, they will also measure the sweets with the different devices. It may be electronic or it may be manual device also hand like a scale also but they will measure and give you the thing you want so we usually measure the weight of an object in grams this you know very well yes we measure the object in grams and kilograms yes smaller quantities are measured in grams smaller quantities yes for example you need a small quantity of spices those are measured in uh, 50 grams 100 grams yes but if you want a large quantity for example rice yes or, or a packet of rice it will measure uh, it starts measuring from 5 kg 25 kg yes so smaller quantities are measured in grams while larger quantities are measured in kg and we know that 1000 grams equals to 1 kg that we have learned in our math class so children next is measurement of capacity you know what is measurement of capacity yes it is the measurement of liquid or fluid yes like for measuring any length yes we need a uh, centimeter scale meter scale kilometer scale next we learned about weight where kg are uh, kg and grams are used now this is something different where we will measure liquid and fluid a container can hold only a fixed amount of liquid in it, thus the amount of liquid that a container holds is known as the capacity of that container. You know this very well children, like your water bottle, yes, if it is of a little bit larger size, it can hold 1 liter water, but if it is of smaller size, it can hold half liter water, yes, so it can hold certain amount of liquid. So that capacity is known as capacity of that container okay like for example you have seen small bottles of coca-cola yes that will hold about 300 ml little bit larger 600 ml and a large bottle of coca-cola that will hold about 2.5 liters yes so different containers have different capacity in our home the bucket we use for bathing is bigger than one for storing drinking water in the kitchen yes very correct yes so similarly bottles we keep in refrigerator is smaller in capacity than one that we use to refill our water dispenser so you can see in the picture that different uh, containers are there which have different um, capacity of holding liquids 
so the units of measurement of capacity are milliliters and liters this you know very well because we have already done in the math class milliliters are used for small amount of liquid yes like for example 1 ml 2 ml 3 ml that is like equal to one droplet to two droplet so when we use eye drops yes ear drops so at that time we will measure it in ml okay but larger amount of liquids are measured in liters one liter two liter yes for example the milk packet which you use it will be a 500 ml that is equal to half liter or one liter two liters so children remember that one liter equals to 1000 ml so the instrument that are commonly used to measure the capacity are measuring cylinder measuring flask and measuring can so these are the instrument children where they have marked the scale okay zero to one liter if it is very big like measuring can zero to one liter one liter to two liter so there is the unit written in the measuring flux measuring can or cylinder so you can mark the amount of the liquid and you can see the measuring cans to measure the amount of petrol pump sorry amount of petrol in the petrol pump there are measuring can so you can easily see the measuring cans to measure the petrol in the petrol pump so children next we are going to do measurement of time so children we have done measurement of time also in the math class so for measurement of time the most important thing you need is a clock yes so let us see something about measurement of time the period between two events or activity is called time and the olden in the olden days people used to sun used sundial to find the time as new discoveries have been made, we use clock or wristwatch to see the time. So in the olden days, children, you can see in the picture also that people used to use this sundial. Okay, that is the name sundial to see the time. But now we have so many watches, so many clocks, even you can see time in your mobile phone also. Yes, so the unit which we use to measure the shorter period of time are seconds. And the units which we measure hour is used to measure bigger periods of time. So 60 seconds equals to 1 minute, 60 minutes equals to 1 hour. You know this very well. So if you have to measure the smaller unit, you can measure it in seconds. And if you have to measure the bigger periods of time, you will measure it in hours. So children... This is the last topic that is measurement of temperature. Yes. So in measurement of temperature, let us see the degree of hotness is known as temperature. Yes. How hot is the like is your surrounding or how hot is your body? Whatever thing like how hot is a milk? How hot is the water? So this degree of hotness is known as temperature. A hot object has high temperature and a cold object has low temperature. You know that if it is a hot object, for example, boiling water, it has a temperature of about 100 degrees Celsius. Yes. So if you have seen your mother cooking something in the pressure cooker, it has temperature about 120 degrees Celsius. If you open the refrigerator and if you see the degree of in the deep freezer, that is about minus or zero degrees Celsius. Yes. So a hot object will have high temperature and the low object has low temperature and we can measure the temperature of a body uh, by an instrument called thermometer. So temperature of our body you can see at the side we can measure with the help of this instrument the name of the instrument is thermometer. The thermometer measures the temperature of a body in centigrade or Fahrenheit scale so there are two scales in thermometer children one is centigrade scale or another one is Fahrenheit scale so but we use most often we use centigrade scale we call it degree centigrade 
the temperature at which the water boils it is 100 degrees celsius and it freezes at 0 degree celsius so the normal temperature if someone asks you what is your normal temperature so the normal temperature of human body has to be 37 degree celsius okay the normal temperature of human body is 37 degree celsius the children many electronic devices and electrical gadgets like water heaters and ovens have thermometers fitted in them so that we can see and adjust the temperature of the water and food respectively so you have seen in water heaters and ovens there is a thermometer yes so that we can adjust their temperature okay children so hope children whatever we have done in today's class is clear to you all this is your home assignment you will write the key terms standard units units which do not change from person to person length it tells us how much long an object is weight amount of matter in an object capacity the amount of liquid a container can hold temperature degree of hotness of an object so children the fact of the day today is very interesting students who did not read by third grade are four times more likely not to graduate from high school so children if you are not reading properly so it is proof that you will not get graduate from high school that means you will have lower degree okay children so you have to learn very nicely you have to work hard because you know that in today's society in today's uh, life being educated person is very very important right so children i will see you in the next class with another topic till then stay safe stay healthy thank you everyone